Welcome to part number 35 of Gran Turismo 5 A-Spec. This is the Moving Chicane, and today we're going to be doing the F-Bar Challenge in the Beginner League. Beginner Series, I mean. And finish off all these races. The three, three races to go in this series, and yeah. Grand Valley Speedway, Nakuba, and Trial Mountain. So for Grand Valley, I'm going to go ahead and use... This thing, the Chevrolet Camaro IROC Z concept. Let's get started. Okay, so that's about the field I expected. Now, Supra, Fair Lady Z. The Corvette Grand Sport all the way in the back. Look at that thing. That is a really nice car. I used to think this was a concept in 1988. Kind of weird we got the concept model in GT4 slash 5 slash 6. Why not just the regular production car, but oh well. Oh yeah, that's really about it. <laughs> I have nothing else to really say. Oh wow, they're two by two. Never mind, not anymore. Oh shit, I didn't mean to hit him from the back. I'm sorry. Of course, the super is leading. That's not a surprise. Oh fuck, the oversteer. But yeah, 1.5 seconds is the deficit that I have to make up. Oh fuck, this car's sliding around a lot now. Okay. Well, you gotta get to know the car on the first lap when you haven't driven it before in any in this game or GT4. The horn test complete, and yeah, that's a proper horn. Oh, Jesus Christ, that R31 just got around me that quickly. TFC Drift's 9 today, and that was 4. Yeah, I've remastered in HD. That's what you gotta say. Nice and easy. Don't force it too much. There we go. Up to the lead now. No, you don't. You're staying behind. And we're about to start the final lap. Just one more lap to go. Oh shit, he's coming. Here comes the 300ZX. Can you go on the inside? Yes, you are. Damn, bro, no need to close the door on me. Even though I've been pretty dirty in this LP. Trying to get the hood cam. I'm sorry for turning down the camera so much. Or roof cam. Ah, uh, don't die. There we go. We didn't die that hard. Our death was kind of slow. You know, it was painless, I mean, painless. Oh, shit!
Yeah, Loki. I can kind of see what you're talking about, Sean. A little bit. MS Supra. All the way back in third because of um, my dirtiness on the, on the front stretch. We're good. We're going to win. He did it. Whoop de doo! Way yay! Okay, cool. Oh wait, wait a minute! You're being serious? Okay, I'm gonna have to check that out. Okay, I'm gonna have to check that out real quick. Okay, let's check let's check it out real quick. So we can just get in the car. Oh my god, you you weren't lying. Then the chief designer invite So yeah, it was a test it was a concept car for Oh shit, okay. Well, my bad, Sean. I thought you were making a joke or something. I'm about to say, wait, what? But my bad about that. But anyways, the next car reasoning is a still 80. Wow, I feel I feel even dumber than I normally do now. Good. My bad. Oh fucking hell, there's a Shelby Series 1. So that explains why they added the concept car rather than the production model. The closest thing you get to Impact Blue is um, in GT... GT2 actually. Because this car has a weird body kit for some reason. The side skirts are on this car, I don't know why. Oh yeah, here we go. That was the time when GM was actually creative. Yeah, that was the same time that Buick is actually a good car manufacturer. Nowadays, not so much. Their cars are really bad. Overpriced, and you go to an auto show to go check out the car, you sit inside, and it feels uncomfortable. One thing I keep forgetting to do is turn off strategy control. I'm into the back of the Lexus by accident. I'm sorry, good sir. Hey, surprise, surprise, this Shelby Series 1 isn't leading. Good, because that car is going to be a pain in the ass once he actually starts making moves. Damn, yeah, missed the gear. That's going to cost us a little bit of time, and... Aw, oh, damn it, he's going to make a move for a second, isn't he? No! I'll break him, Infinity! Yes! Nope, he didn't get the job done. Is that a 300ZX leading? Alright, that 300ZX is going to have to do everything that it can to hold up the Shelby Series 1. Otherwise, we're screwed and we're probably not going to win the race, because that car is really good. Kind of odd that a Series 1 is in this race, amongst like a bunch of Japanese cars. It might be the tires, but this car is understeering so bad. It might be on Comfort Softs. I would not be surprised. Oh, you! why are you so slow off the line? How is he that slow out of the corner? Oh, random car lobbies? I don't really remember too much of those. Yeah, the ZR1 from 2010 was a badass car. Oh, some of the Corvette stuff is pretty cool still. Hell, I like the C8 concept.
Okay, maybe we can get him in the hairpin. Yeah, we're gonna have to get him in the hairpin. That Series 1 is really s slow out of the corners. It's doing us more harm than anything. Ah, the understeer, again. Fuck it, I'm sending it. Sending it. I, I don't care. He's he's way too slow off the line. I don't know why he's so bad in the corners. And the tires on this um, still lady are really bad. Come for stops, most likely. Really surprised that the 300ZX is actually ahead of the Series 1 that entire time. Oh, he just moved out the way. Okay. Must be Sanchez behind the wheel. That thing. And there we go. We win. Oh, there's a crossfire in this race? Uh, okay. Ninth place. Typical. Play ass Chrysler. Alright, before we move on to the next race, I'm very curious. Do it. I knew it. We were on comfort softs the entire time. Alright, so one more race to go for FR Challenge slash Beginner Series. And the car I'm going to be using for that race is... This thing, the Mercedes-Benz 180 Evolution. This freaking bad boy. And very fitting that I use this at Trial Mountain. I don't know why, but it just seems like a cool combination if you ask me. Oh, that's a C2, I believe, that's leading. Or second place, I mean. Ooh, there's a TDR in the back. A V8S. Okay, so here we go. That is a really nice ARC-7. That's an even nicer 190E. It's mandatory that I honk the horn for every single car. This car might be on Comfort Softs as well, but... A really long name for being so slow. This one? Well, it might be slow, but... Dude, it's so nice. There's no denying that. Am I right or am I right? Is that a three wide pass? I couldn't tell. And Sylvia was just kind of wide. It's pretty but slow. Yeah, I mean, it's not that bad. It is slow, but my god, is it a nice car. I'm surprised the RX-7 isn't further up right now, but give it some time, I guess. Make an inside pass. Nope. Washed up just a tiny bit. Might be on Comfort Softs again, but... At least it's not Sakuba. We have some breathing room here when making moves and corners and stuff, unlike Sakuba. So, yeah, it's not too bad. GT4 license flashbacks. Oh, welcome back from your KFC adventure. You're full as fuck. I see, my friend. How is KFC out there in the UK? I mean, out here in the United States, I consider KFC to be the worst fried chicken fast food place on the planet. It's Fat Club? <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna have to use that one. Yeah, I think KFC's ass, like... Well, we have nothing else? Okay, well, there you go. But yeah, I mean, like, I'd rather go to... I don't know if they exist in the UK at all, whether it's England or Ireland or Scotland, but I'd rather go to Church Chicken, Popeye's Chicken, Louisiana Fried Chicken, probably the best. There's actually some grocery stores out here that sell them, you know, at the deli section, like, uh, Winco is one. Oh, 
Popeyes doesn't exist. Okay. Churches is okay. I mean, I don't know. Churches is a step above KFC, but it's not a huge step if you ask me. They have hot wings at KFC. I don't think they have hot wings in, in our KFC. I think it's just purely chi purely fried or breaded chicken. Or breaded. Fucking stupid. Oven chicken. Or fried chicken. And like the occasional nuggets and stuff like that. No, Popeyes. Totally two different Popeyes, my friend. Two totally different Popeyes. One's a fried chicken chain, the other one is a cartoon character. Damn, Farina Slow Boy. This thing is pretty good. It's a fun car to drive. Oh shit, nearly lost a car. There we go. Almost lost it again. Have a three second lead over the BMW, nice. Did I have TCS on this entire time? God damn it, I keep forgetting to turn it off. You see, I'm so uh, I'm so used to like driving only one car per championship that I'm trying this new method out and I forget that you have to turn off TCS for every single car you drive. Although it's not like this car is super powerful or anything, so it's not like the fear of wheel spin is there. In all honesty. tissue paper yeah I mean if, if I haven't tasted you know UK KFC I can't say whether or not it's better I don't know United Kingdom is really weird when it comes to some fast food like, like I remember one of um I remember I was in a league in GT Sport League By the way, I did that at home. I did it at home on purpose. Here's why. I did it all on purpose. Come on, give me the trophy. I'm supposed to get a trophy for that. Come on. Where is it? Where is the trophy? Okay, so I'm I'm basically trying to get all the trophies in the game, the Platinum Trophy included. I'm gonna save the replay. That was a rollover. Okay, there we go, the race is complete. If that doesn't give me the trophy, I don't know what the hell will. So yeah, I did a jump cut there, just did that flip. There we go, I was supposed to get that trophy earlier. So yeah, like I mentioned before, I did it on purpose, I got the secret trophy rollover. And yeah. That is the F4 challenge done. Now the reason why I didn't do it again with the 180E is because I ha I'm on a time constraint right now, I have to go to work after this recording's over. And yeah, I guess I have to be reset in order to do it. Of course, this song plays. I love this song. So, yes. That is the beginner series all done in the F4 challenge. So, we win an FT86 concept and another level 5 coupon. So, as always, just like in the B spec LP, first things first, we're going to open up the prize for winning the championship. Once again, decides to load. Maybe abstract, that could be another thing too. Holy 
shit, that's a badass color, chameleon purple. So yeah, as always, let's go ahead and take a look at this car first. And something that I'm going to do, because I still have this car in my garage, is... Oh my god, that is so sexy. Um, I will show you guys the level 5 car I gained from B-Spec. Those who haven't watched that part of the LP. Here it is. I got this for the Beginner Series Level 5 B-Spec coupon, the Mitsubishi 3000 GT VR4 Turbo. So what the hell do I get for A-Spec? Let's find out. Hopefully it's not the same car or something that I've gotten already. Alright, Vet, see ya, man. I'm going to end the stream right now anyways after this is done. Standard. Ooh, okay. Not bad. I'll take it. I could probably use it in the Gran Turismo Rally. Or the Japanese Championship, I don't know. I got a Nissan, yeah, a Nissan Skyline GTR. Hey, that's badass, I'll take it. And it's in gun gray metallic, my favorite color too. Oh so yeah, here it is, gun gray metallic R32. So yeah, that is it for this video. Next time on Gran Turismo 5 A-Spec, we're going to do our very first endurance of the A-Spec LP, which is the Roadster 4-Hour Endurance. So yeah.